What's good, Dilly Squad? It's your guy, Westside Dilly, and today we got an updated Q&A video. It's been a minute since I sat in front of the camera and talked to y'all, so I just I just wanted to get back close. My nigga. So without too much more talking, let's get right into the video. Let's get it. Don't mind me, man. It's Father's Day. What? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and take me a little shotty shot, you know what I'm talking about. Drink responsibly. Bye. Alright, first question. How has Houston been? Honestly, Houston been a vibe. I've been enjoying it a lot. I can't say I don't really mess with the nightlife, man. Like, I just haven't had a moment where I went out in Houston and it was just like, yeah, I gotta do this again. Question number two. How do you deal with stress? A whole lot of this. <laughs> but now, on a serious note, uh, I just, I prefer to just work through my stress. I prefer to work through anything that's hindering me. You know, at the end of the day, I'm just a human like everybody else. I, I have those moments where I'm stressed out and things are bothering me and things is not going my way. And, and I just shut down like that's that used to be me. This is a temporary stress reliever You do not want to rely on this. I've been there. I've done that. You do not want to rely on something like this But I'm still taking shot though. No cow. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Question number three, what is your dream profession? You know, I really don't have a straight answer to that. I just know I'm not supposed to do something that's every day. I was meant to not be average. I was meant to not be normal. Now, granted, it sucks that at 28, I still don't even know what I'm doing. But the beauty of life is everybody's path is different. Just because somebody did it this way doesn't mean that you can do it that way and get the same results. It is okay to take your time. It is okay to not know what you're doing. And I know I probably didn't even answer the question. I just know that I'm, I'm supposed to be something great. And that's the profession that I I want to be in. Hey, I wasn't expecting this question, but question number four, BBL or natural? Hey, I ain't gonna hold you. I, I like both. I mean, some of them BBLs be looking nice. You know, the natural be looking nice. Some of them BBLs be looking bad, though. Like a lot of them. But nah, um, if I, if I just absolutely had to pick, I'm gonna go with natural every time. Question number five, why don't you do videos with Internet City anymore? To be real, I don't have an answer for that. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like y'all been waiting to ask me some questions. Question number six, <laughs> I don't, hey, based on the person, I know the context, but I'm, I'm gonna just flip it for the sake of the video. <laughs> Question number six, why can't you be consistent? <laughs> hey, so look, I'm gonna just speak on the regards of me doing YouTube and content creation and things like that. I can't be consistent because I lack a lot of things. From motivation to resources to just the energy to wanna create, I can't lie to y'all, sometimes I just don't feel like doing it. I'm, I'm way too hard on myself. I am my hardest critic. And it's like, if I can't do what I want to do, I get discouraged. Like, this is the second time I've actually tried to shoot this video. And I just get discouraged. Like, I, I feel like I'm either trying too hard or, or I'm not being relaxed enough and and it just don't come out the way i needed to come out i want to be consistent i want to be great i want to be a great content creator but the want has to meet the execution and at times it just don't happen like that with me now granted like i said based off of who asked the question i know that they were talking about why i can't be consistent with them like on some dating shit but i ain't wanna i ain't wanna answer all that i'm not gonna publicly talk about none of that matter of fact i should take a shot because i plead the fifth What that is, like number three? Yeah, I'm finna get real honest with these questions after a while. Question number seven, are you dating? I am not dating. I can't lie though, I did try to. And I've had like, it's like horror stories when it come to dating these Houston women. Now full disclaimer, I'm not talking about every woman in Houston. When I say women in Houston, I'm strictly speaking on the women that I've dealt with since I've been in Houston. I've had one girl, I had one girl, she slid a number in my DM on Instagram, right? So I'm like, bet, you know, I'm feeling like Curry. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm shooting the three. I'm shooting the three. Y'all, when I tell you that this girl sent me her number, right? And told me to text her because she barely gets on IG. I know y'all probably thinking, well, Deli, what's, what's the problem? Y'all, she spelled barely B-A-R-I-L-Y. But the short answer is, no, I'm not dating. I'm just trying to figure out some things within myself, you know, because obviously at this point, I got to be the problem. Matter of fact, we finna, we finna see if I'm the problem right now. Hey, you busy? I don't know, I'm not busy. Hey, I, I just got like a, a simple question. Oh, you you are, you're not on the camera, but I'm I'm recording a video right now. You wanna say hey to my people? Just say hey. Just say hey, hey. Daily Squad. Hey, Nelly. No, Daily Squad. Hey, Nelly. Hey, I said Nelly. No, Daily Squad. Say, say it again. Daily. Say hey, Daily Squad. Hi, Daily Squad. <laughs> Look, I just got a quick question, okay? All right, honestly speaking, okay, we've been knowing each other a long time. Like a long, a long, long time, right? Am I the problem? It was at this moment that he knew. 
he fucked up. In what regards? With me and you. Like, why we ain't together, like, right now? Yes. Oh, what the f- What? What? No, we're not. You know what? We're not going to have this conversation while I'm on the camera. Because I did not expect you to say what you just said. But <laughs> I'm the problem for real. I could probably, we could be, we could be happy right now, but I'm the problem. That's cold. Not gonna lie, at this point, I don't even remember what question I'm on. But I got this, this is question number nine, so would you get back with either of your baby mothers? Hey, look here. I would rather go outside in the Houston heat, butt ass naked, and drag my balls across the hot semen before I ever get back with my baby mamas. Hey, nah, I quit, I quit, I quit. But nah, to be honest, I feel like with both of my baby mamas, like we, we, are in a good space and it works for us. Question number 10, I think. What are your goals for the rest of the year? I really wanna hit 100K subs by the end of the year. That could be literally December 31st, 2023. Hell, it could even be January 1st, 2024. I also wanna drop at least like, a, I wanna drop like another album, my third album, and I wanna drop a mixtape. I wanna do something healthy too. Like I wanna not necessarily like lose weight, but I wanna lose body fat and gain muscle. But one of the main goals I truly have, I just wanna be happy, I wanna be happy. Peace. Question number 11. Do you have any trips planned? I don't, but I definitely want to travel more. I was recently talking to somebody and I, I told them that I really ain't never been nowhere. Like I've been to Cali. Um, I've been to LA. Uh, obviously that's Cali. Uh, I've been to like Alabama and stuff like that when I was younger, but I've never really been anywhere like as an adult. I really want to go to Atlanta. I really want to go to Miami. I wouldn't mind going back to Cali too. People sleep on it, but Austin is definitely a good vacation spot. But yeah, as of now, I'm kind of just chilling. Like I said, I'm, I'm still trying to get foundation in Houston. So I really don't even want to, you know, take a trip anywhere um, until I know that I've solidified myself in the city that I currently live in. I actually got invited to the Dominican Republic, but I said, no, you know, I'd, I'd rather be on point before I take a trip, so. Question number 12, do you have a crush on anyone? I don't really do the question. Like, if I really want you, I'm gonna have you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's really all there is to it. Like, I don't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna plot on you. Like, I'm gonna just straight up put myself out there. And if, I want you, I'm gonna have you. Like, I, I really don't get told no. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be cocky or anything like that, but it's rare that I get told, like, nah, I'm good. Like, it's, it's so rare, but it's also rare for me to actually like somebody. Like, I'm so used to people liking me that when, that, that, that like when I like somebody, it's just, it's just like so foreign. No, so, you know what? I ain't got no crush. I ain't got no crush. Daily doing his thing. Daily out here thugging. You know what I'm saying? Daily out here being big RZA, no capital. I, I can't do no more after this. <laughs> this is gonna be it. Uh, question number twelve. Do you want more children? I feel weird when it comes to kids. Like granted, I got you know, I got the kids I have, but. You know, in my life, I never really seen myself having kids, like ever. I never saw myself being a dad at all. So the fact that I have kids, it's, it's really overwhelming at times, like in a good way though. Like I love my kids, I love being a dad. That's the favorite, that's my favorite thing about myself. I love being a dad, bro. Like you can say what you wanna say about me, but like make sure you say that I'm a good dad. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like make sure that that is shared out loud with your chest. Daily a good day. In a perfect world though, like, you know, if I'm if I'm with somebody and it's discussed that we have a kid, I wanna do it that way. Like I wanna be with somebody, I wanna be in love with somebody, I wanna, you know, be close to marrying somebody, and we mutually agree to have a kid together. Like I wanna do it that way. I don't wanna have more kids on some, you know, we was both horny type stuff and you know we, we we did what we did like i don't i don't want that anymore like i, I want it the right way you know what i'm saying like I, yeah <laughs> yeah I, I guess the answer is yes like the short answer is yes i would love to have more kids um i'm a great dad i came from a big family on my dad's side um his mom had a lot of kids her mom had a you know a nice amount of kids like I, I come from a big family so i wouldn't mind it and like i said i know the type of dad i am and i know you know, what I can bring to the table as a father. So, you know, I wouldn't mind having more kids. But look, that's gonna be it for this video, man. If y'all want a part two to this life update, man, y'all make sure y'all comment part two in the comments. And I'll see y'all in the next video, Dilly Squad. Look, I'ma take, I'ma take one more before we go because it's Juneteenth and 
it's Father's Day, and you know, I was getting called daddy before I had kids, so you know, <laughs> we gonna go ahead and do that, though. Cow, hey, salut, hey, I love y'all, man. I really do, man. I, I hope y'all really are ready for this journey that we finna go on, man. I, I'm, 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 I really wanted to be all gas, no brakes. So if if y'all are down for the ride, daily squad, man, I really would appreciate y'all, and I'm not gonna let y'all down. I promise, I'm not, man. Salute. If you made it this far and you love your mom, make sure you like this video and check out the last one.